Hi again, welcome back. It's Wednesday. I actually woke up thinking it was Thursday. So we do have a few more days left to this week, but I hope things are going well. I was able to meet with uh, first grade this morning, and I look forward to seeing second and third grade uh, to finish out the week. Um, I decided to do a nonfiction book today because it, it just connects with everybody. And here's what I mean by that. Um, today, the kindergarten, one of their assignments was putting together a concept map, okay, putting a topic in the middle of a circle and then branching it out to see, okay, what else connects with that topic. First grade's been working with non, uh, non-fiction text features, uh, table of contents, bold words, uh, glossary, and I like how they're uh, learning how to move through a non-fiction book. Second grade, they're working on an animal project, uh, or at least getting ready for it. Their teachers are getting them ready for digging up information, asking good questions to be able to do research. And then third and fourth grade, you guys uh, are the pros in our school of taking uh, a nonfiction book, looking through it, finding what you need to answer questions. So I figured, you know what? Let's do a nonfiction book today. And it's from this series called Amazing Animals, which I'm so glad we got a few years ago. And now over the summer, they actually came out with 20 new ones we'll be able to add. And we'll have about 80 some animal books from this specific series, which I know that you guys have been loving. And I was able to take a few home because you guys have all the rest. So here we go with a book today on beavers. Beavers are rodents. There are two kinds of beavers. One kind lives in North America. The other kind lives in Europe and Asia. Beavers live in wooded places near water. Now real quick, what I love is rodents is bolded. That means it's a, a word that's going to be in the glossary. This book, how it works is their glossaries go along the bottom and then it says down here, rodents, and it gives the definition or the meaning. Rodents are animals, like rats and mice, that have sharp front teeth, hair or fur, and feed their babies with milk. Okay, so that's a text feature that our first graders have been working on. And if, if you're beyond first grade, you know what that is. But it's just an example there. A beaver's tail is long and flat. Its teeth are strong and sharp. A beaver uses its teeth to break branches and trees. Then it builds a dam to make a pond. Beavers weigh... 30 to 70 pounds. It's actually more than I thought. North American beavers are the second largest rodents in the world. Their coats can be light brown or black in color. And I love how also in nonfiction books you can use the images or the photos to help you out. This, this series has these great images and great photographs and just by looking at this you can get a feel for the habitat of a beaver. You can see the water's dirty, it's murky, there's branches everywhere. We know they use wood to build things. So you can learn different things about beavers just by looking at them. You can see the front teeth. You can see how furry, the color. Always use your photographs to help you out. A beaver's fur is waterproof because beavers swim a lot. The two back paws are wet. This helps beavers move through water. Beavers can swim at speeds of up to five miles an hour. Beavers eat wood and plants. They grip wood with their front claws. Beavers eat wood and bark from any kind of tree. They eat grassy plants like cattails that grow in water too. A mother beaver has a litter of four to nine kits. So a kit is a name for a baby beaver, like a calf is, an, is a baby cow. Newborn kits have fur and front teeth. They can swim a day after they are born. They drink milk from their mother for up to three months. Beaver families live together in groups called colonies. Their homes are in lodges or dens. Beaver kits live with their families for two and a half years. Then they start new families. Beavers can live for more than 20 years. Beavers work together to build dams and homes. Beaver dams are usually six feet high and 15 feet long. The longest beaver dam is 2,790 feet. It is more than 30 years old. To give you an idea, that's just over half a mile. People used to hunt beavers for their fur, and beavers almost disappeared. But now there are millions of them. People like to watch these busy animals at work. Okay. So there's your nonfiction text for today. Um, 
Think about some of the information you learned. When you finish up a nonfiction text, you should be able to go to someone and say, hey, here's a few things that I got out of that book. Some things that I learned or some things that added information. Okay, it's always a good way to refresh your memory of what you, uh, of what you just read. I will see you guys tomorrow for our next read aloud. Take care, McGinn.